Hello fourth graders, welcome back to science lesson with Miss Maulida. So, you have learned about the skeleton. In this new subtopic of chapter 1, we are going to learn also about the drugs and medicines. Let's get started. So, do you know what drug is? Well, drugs are defined as substances or chemicals that can make your body change in some way. There are many types of drugs. For example, the caffeine inside your coffee can make your heart rate faster. There is also cocaine. This is an add addictive drugs that can be harmful or have negative effect on your health but we also have drug as medicines that can make our body healthier so many drugs have good effects but some drugs like cocaine can harm your body okay now we are going to talk more about the drugs as medicines well, the drugs as the medicines are the ones that can make our bodies feel better when we get sick. I think every one of us have taken medicines when we are sick, right? Okay, so we take the medicines in order to help our body uh, be healthy or feeling better. But remember, in the previous slide, we have seen also the harmful drugs, right? So we can say that not all drugs are medicines. Some of the harmful drugs are not uh, making us feel better. Even it can be dangerous for our health. Like for example, there is the drugs named tobacco that we can find in cigarettes or alcohols are also drugs that are harmful to our body okay so now let's see how do we take the medicines there are several ways in taking medicines let's see one by one Okay, so the first one is the type of medicines that needs to be mixed with the water. Usually, this kind of medicine come in powder. Here, for example, we have oralite. It is used when uh, you get uh, the dehydration. So when you need more hydration, usually the doctor will prescribe you to have a rehydration water okay let's see the second one we have what it is called as inhalers can you repeat after me inhalers inhalers good job um do you know what inhalers are for yeah for people who have asthma so maybe if you or maybe your friends or your family uh, have asthma they probably have this kind of medicines okay so the inhalers we inhale the air from the inhalers to make us uh, breathe uh, better in asthma person okay so let's see the third one the third one is syrup i think this one is uh, everyone is familiar with this one so here in order to take the medicine we just simply need to drink the liquid medicines maybe many of you have taken this kind of medicines right okay and then the last one we have the medicines that is directly injected to our blood usually if 
the patient is um, very serious or uh, you know like very sick and they need to get faster treatment usually the doctor will uh, uh, give the uh, medicines directly into the bloodstream so the they can heal faster okay so after this i want you to actually do this activity how do people take the medicines but uh, it will be in the video form so let's watch the video welcome to cambridge science investigators today's investigation how do people take medicines? Have you ever taken medicines? There are lots of different ways that we can take medicines. Can you think of some of them? Did you think of any of these? How can our investigators find out about the different ways people take their medicines? What information do they need? How can they collect their information? What do you think? What information is needed and how can our investigators collect this information? They can find out about how people take medicines by doing a survey. A survey is a list of questions that people answer so you can find out information from them. Survey questions must be short and easy to understand. You will also need a data collection sheet. Here is an example. Let's do a tally chart. That's a great idea. We can um, ask some questions and then the answers we can put into a chart and then we can add them all up. Now that you know how to do a survey, you need to collect your information and record it. Ask different people to answer the survey questions. The more people you ask, the better. Our investigators are going to ask 30 people. Make a tally on your data collection sheet of the number of people who answered yes to each medicine. Look at the data our investigators have collected from asking 30 people. This adds up to more than 30. We only asked 30 people. Maybe we got it wrong. Let's do it again. One, two. Can you think why it might add up to more than 30? You can use your tally data to draw a bar chart. That will show you very clearly how many people take their medicine in each way. How many people use inhalers? How tall should the inhaler's bar be? Four people used inhalers, so the inhaler's bar should be four lines tall. What have we found out in today's investigation? A survey is a good way to find out information from people if we use simple, easy to understand questions. We can use a data collection sheet to tally and count the answers we get from the survey. We can draw a bar chart to show the numbers of people or things in different groups that we have counted or measured. Thanks for watching! Alright! So hopefully after you watch the video, you will be able to answer these two questions. Okay, so what I want you to do now is answer these questions, these two questions on your notebook. The first question is how will you collect the information you need when you want to do, uh, what is it, like record how do people take the medicines? And then the second question is, how will you present your findings? Okay, please write it down on your notebook and later during Zoom meeting, we're going to discuss about it. Thank you so much, everyone. See you later. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye.